No, it's all good. We got it. There you go. We are live with the beautiful Christy Maggio. Hello. Hi, everyone. What a day. What a 24 hours. Now let's talk about sprint. <laughs> <laughs> we are sprinting to the finish line. And oh Christy, I feel honored to uh, connect with you because actually you are the very first person in the whole world that I shared the idea of a 24 hour youth summit. And I'd love to pick your brains for a moment. Mm -hmm. What went through your mind when I first shared the concept with you? Were you like, this guy is crazy? <laughs> or were you like, mm, okay. You've no. done this stuff before, you right? Know, <laughs> it, it's interesting because when you first shared the concept with me and I had just come off of the my summit and thinking and 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 you had asked you know what did you think about it would you be able to you know take part participate and my thought was oh wow like i just got done with what like it was that's a, it's a lot of it's a lot of work it's a lot of energy and so i'm like who to do another one so soon that's what i thought but i mean i just thought in my mind all of things like this are good things, you know, mm -hmm. and the way you did it was, was so different mm -hmm. um, from the way that I had done it. And, and that's the great part about it because there's no one right way to do it. And you had, yeah. you went 24 hours straight and, you know, had all, so many more young people um, engaged in it than I did. And I had wanted to take you know, my perspective is taking more adult lessons to bring to, to young people, but young people ultimately also want to hear from young people. And yeah. they want to, and although I did have your, uh, your son and Rich Kids Global and yeah, Ariana cool. and a lot of the people that were on here today, um, there's so many young people right now doing incredible work in this Thank world you. that we just, you know, you have to applaud them and you have to give them the stage, you know, and because they're going to move mountains. They're going to make this world such a better place. And I'm in awe of them. And I am too. I think our young people, they really are, especially those ones who are stepping up and saying, you know what, I have <laughs> a voice, I'm going to own it and I'm going to take part. And it's one of the things, you know, we're both mentors in slightly, you come from an educational background. I come from a business background in leading businesses and I'm a dad. So, mm -hmm. you know, for most of my fatherhood, I have wanted to instill an entrepreneurial or intrapreneurial mindset in my children. And I know that's something that you're also passionate about. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to just um, include you on here in our sort of final sprint, let's call it, um, to hear a little bit more about your backstory, because you've delivered a great presentation for everybody to share. We've just gone live with that uh, um, maybe half an hour or so ago. And uh, let's let's hear about the, the real Christy Maggio and um, kind of circle back to, you know, the Multicultural Foundation, the Academy, uh, where that all started, because you've got such a lovely story. I'd love for everybody to hear that and uh, for you to share. So I'm going to hand the mic over to you. All right. Um, so, I mean, it all started when I was really, uh, I worked in the U.S. for many years in the public school system. And for me, I had just gotten my uh, administrative degree uh, to be a principal or superintendent of schools here. And I was applying for inner city jobs because I really wanted to go where they needed the most help. And so one of the things that you always see on these applications, because in the US, a lot of these inner city schools, you have uh, a lot of Hispanic uh, children and they would bilingual preferred or things to, to that. And, and it would always like kind of set you apart. I was an Italian teacher and I had studied Spanish on my own. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna go to the Dominican Republic for a year, take a leave of absence, and then it will separate my, you know, I'll stand out a little bit more because then I'll also speak Spanish. So maybe I'll get one of these positions. Well, uh, I got a lot more than just speaking Spanish <laughs> going there. And um, when I got there the first year, I worked for as an ESL teacher for um, uh, a school there. And then I saw the market uh, for quality education 
because there were a lot of business owners that opened private schools in that area. But again, they were business owners. There wasn't the educational quality piece there. And the other thing was English language was a necessity, but it just wasn't being taught in the way that needed to be. So for three years, I literally hustled and grinded my way through, <laughs> through everything and um, studied the market, made connections, did tutoring out of my house day and night, no car, took the bus with a suitcase on the weekends to the grocery store so that I could, you know, not have to have 10,000 bags on a really crowded, small little, what they call there a guagua. And, uh, and then on the fourth year, the beginning of the fourth year I was there, I opened my own school. I rented a building and started with seven, seven students. And uh, from there, I got really involved with the community and um, the good Lord brought a lot of people in my path and I started doing water projects. I helped we raise money to rebuild some, some homes and stuff like that after Hurricane Maria. Um, we did a yearly collection for food and, and toys for um, what they call King's Day. And, you know, with the school as a really big uh, center of a hub in that community that I had a lot of parents would get people from other countries that would come and say oh we brought this we want to donate it we brought this we want to donate it and they're like go see Christy she knows who needs it so they would send the people to me because I wouldn't keep it for my school because most of the I sponsored some kids there but it was growing so most of the parents paid uh, to send the kids to the school there and then so I would call people in other schools and we would we would donate every year we'd have a collection and I'd bring the kids to donate what they collected themselves because it was really important knowing that not all children in that country lived on the beach or you know lived in a hotel because a lot of the parents were hotel workers um and so they would we would do that and because it was really important not just to learn uh, and it was a bilingual school, but to have a good education, but to learn to give back. And so instilling that in my students from a very young age was really important. Um, and then it grew each year. I started with seven students. Um, when COVID hit, I had 85 students and we were working on creating a whole new facility. Um, but it, that, that has been halted for the moment and working on getting that revived back. But that is how I ended up in the Dominican Republic and now taking everything global. And then in um, January of 2020, I had gotten uh, the uh, paperwork saying that I was a, a legal foundation in the United States and in the Dominican Republic. And, um, and yeah, so that is a lot of, of my story. A lot of people thought I was thinking I was crazy Still, people think I'm whacked out of my head. But at the same time, you know what? And, and this is a good segue. Naveen Jane always says, if people don't think you're crazy, you're not thinking or dreaming big enough. So <laughs> um, absolutely. You know, here's to the crazy ones, as Steve Jobs used to say. That's right. And uh, you know what, Christy? In observing your work ethic, you are one of a kind. You're actually so inspirational. I saw the work that you put into putting your summit together, but even the work behind the scenes. I mean, we're partnering up and uh, mm -hmm. working with a beautiful lady, Abby and Louise, on developing an educational magazine aligned with the Sustainable Development Goal, Equality mm -hmm. Education. And um, just understanding the, the work ethic you have behind that. You're editor of the Success Entrepreneur magazine that Luke and Rich Kids Global were featured in as well on, I think, the second or third edition. And Ariana was also featured. And uh, the Ben Selmy, Trey Sean, Ben mm -hmm. Selmy, in the up and coming under 20s. And it's just really exciting to meet somebody who is genuinely has such a heart and a passion for young people and who work so hard to see that their future is in their own hands, mm -hmm. you know? And it means that you, you're on the sidelines, cheering them on all the way and putting on these events and doing whatever you need to do to give young people the best possible chance in life. You know, it's interesting you say that because, 
And I don't know if I've ever told this to you before, but I was on, I was listening to someone speaking one day and she said, you know what? A lot of people work hard. You know, a construction worker works hard. Like that's hard work, but you know, anything that you do from the heart is never hard. And so is it hard work or is it heart work? Right. And if we are working from the heart, it's never hard. Mm -hmm. And I just took that and it just gave me, it gave me goosebumps because I'm just like, that's so true because people are like, how do you do it? How do you keep going? How do you just spend hours and hours and hours with all of this energy? And, and because it's from the heart, because you love it. It's something that you love. And when you can find that thing that you love, it's a gift. Oh my God. Such a gift. Yeah. Do you know, you're so right. And, uh, you know, you've interviewed Luke, my son. He's literally been fist pumping me all day. He's like, Dad, I don't know how you're doing this. Like, you're still up. It's, you know, I was up at 4 a.m. yesterday. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I've probably had about four hours sleep for the last nearly 48 hours. Or let's mm-hmm. call it six hours sleep and 48 hours. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that is hard work. It's absolutely incredible. And it is something that does come from the heart. And when you're tired, you just get to push through because you know the impact you're going to make. Mm-hmm. And a lot of people have said today, they're like, this is the tip of the iceberg. The world needs programs, summits, collaborations, community like mm-hmm. this, where we can start and continue these conversations. And Christy, you are not just a principal, not just an incredible educator. You're also a writer and you've got a book coming out pretty soon. Mm-hmm. Tell us about follows and likes. What's it all about? Oh my gosh. I am so excited. I finally finished it. And so right now it's in the, in the teen reading stage. I've sent it to some of my, uh, my uh, students to have a little, to have a little read. Yes. And it's called Files and Likes. This is all I'm worth. And it really, each chapter goes through um, different lessons for young people. And it's understanding what success really is. And I say in the age of social media, because oftentimes young people are so confused by what they see, but they haven't seen the journey. They haven't seen how people have gotten to where they are and what they've needed to do to get there. What sacrifices, what perseverance, what were the ups and the downs? And so after each chapter, I include a story. So a lot of the people from from the summit that I had invited, a lot of people that I interviewed for my podcast um, are in there. And it's all walks of life. You know, all ethnicities, you have Latinos, uh, Naveen Jain is in there. He's from India. You have African-Americans. I have two of the former Harlem Globe Trotters are in there and their stories. Um, uh, I'm thinking, you know, uh, Barb Majeski uh, and Janita Prevost. She came from out of foster care. Um, my one uh, woman, she's a doctor in the Bronx, and she's originally from the Dominican Republic. And she lived through the um, her uncles being persecuted in during the uh, the um, dictatorship after Trujillo and that whole faction because they were fighting against democracy and dictatorship and what she went through in her story uh, another you know a couple of stories about uh, child abuse and being in abusive situations is just so and showing that what that journey was for these these young children they were children when this happened to them right what what they went through what their mind was and how they got to be where they are today. And Greg Walker is a perfect example. He was number 13 of 12 children who went through a school. His None of his siblings graduated high school. He was the only one. He graduated last in his class. class. He's about to get an honorary doctorate degree, right? He is just amazing. He's written a book. He has... Own, he owns multiple franchises and he, his mentor was a couple of teachers who really believed in him and actually Danny Thomas, who started the chain of Wendy's restaurants, fast food wow. restaurants in the United States. So when the important thing for young people to understand is everything could be an opportunity 
open the door and see if it's an opportunity because you never yeah. know. And that's the one thing that these people did. They knew in their mind, I can have more, I can do better. They weren't victims, mm -hmm. they were victors. And so- Oh, that's brilliant. That's incredible. Yeah. So with that being said, I'm super excited about the book because it's just, it, it's, it's a year of, of my heart and mm -hmm. what I really want. And I'm really hoping that for young people who are reading it, <laughs> that are my my guinea pigs right now, so to speak, and, and having that read of it, um, that they enjoy it and then it will be published. So, you know, they always say wow. just because you love it doesn't mean everybody else is going to love it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we will love it and we can't wait to get our hands on it. Do you know when? Have you got a timeline when it's going to be out? Um, I'm hoping in a month. It will be published, Fantastic. ready to go. So, yeah. Wow. Well, well, look, you know, whatever it is, um, we would love to offer that a copy as yes. a prize to one of our guests or one of our entrants. You know, part of what we're doing, and you've seen your personalized page as part of the summit. Everybody gets their own personal page with their video on there. And on the underneath your video is a is a rating where people get to rate your talk and your topic and get to feedback, but they also get to share with you, the speaker, what they've learned and what they've taken out from the talk. And we want to honor and recognize people for sharing their learning, for celebrating our speakers. And uh, we're giving out loads of prizes. You know, there's been some nice. incredible prizes on offer with merchandise to books, to courses, to talent dynamics, profile, genius debriefs. And, um, you know, we'd love to include a book if you'd be up for that. Absolutely, as, uh, I prizes. would, I would. And I would love for any any young person out there, any, any person, any young, old, doesn't matter, that, you know, if I can bring any value to you, uh, if you have any questions, anything that you, I can help in any way with what you're doing, I would love that. And, um, and so, yeah, absolutely, 100%. Oh, thank you, Christy. And you know what? Most of the time, if I'm looking for Christy, all I got to do is go on Clubhouse because she's bound to be in one of those rooms. <laughs> Clubhouse has been, you know, I've, I've been, I've been taming myself lately, though. Okay. So good, good, I'm good. Not, so I can get more, more, more work done. <laughs> oh, fantastic. So that tell us, work. Christy, we're coming up to um, our kind of the twelfth hour. I'd love <laughs> to connect you with. I'm not. Have you met Karina? Um, who's our co-founder of Anua and uh, co-director. She's just yeah. jumping in. I would love to connect you with Karina. Here comes Karina. And um, let's see if we can say hello. I hope the internet connection is good. There we go. Karina, are you in? Here we are. Hello. I think she's coming in. We might just bear with the internet connection a little bit. Sure. And so Karina and I have been tag teaming throughout the day. There she comes. Hello. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness oh. let me just fix this i think i think i got sorry about this hi so sorry for me oh, no life. worries no worries <laughs> oh, there we are wow. hi christy hi you? karina so nice to meet you what an amazing job you guys have done today oh thank you thank you so much oh my gosh listen you know <laughs> I'm kind of half awake at this stage, you know, it's been incredible. I managed to get some sleep, so I'm literally just crawling out of the bed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh wow. Well, That's it's been day. it's been wonderful. It really has been wonderful. Um, I've popped in and out during throughout the day and I've seen you guys talking a few times and and stuff. And I just, you know, what you've done for this, what you've done for the young people and bringing all of this together and giving them really the opportunity to share their voice and the work that they're doing just incredible yeah oh thank you thank you so much Alison this rich is you know I, I keep saying he's he's the mastermind behind it all you know uh but it, it is just it's about just supporting that it was it's amazing what's been possible in short, short, short such a short space of time as well it's been amazing but uh, it's everybody that's come and contributed it's, it's everybody's voice everybody's message and it's you and everybody else that like, this is what makes it possible. It's just, you know, everyone's got so much to contribute and mm -hmm. we pull together like this. It's amazing what can be possible. So we're oh, so excited. Fine. This is just the start. Mm -hmm. you know? yeah. I was sure. saying the same to Christy. It is, you know, this is uh, the tip of the iceberg about what's going to happen. And, you know, sharing to Christy, we're working together on the quality education magazine and website with Abby 
And, um, you know, right. that's going to be part of the mix of, of different uh, elements that, you know, globally will be partnering and connecting with people like Evan from Beluga on the education platform, an immersive education platform. You know, we'll be running kids programs or youth programs, youth network, where we bring young people into their own hubs and their own networks to share the learning together. We do our monthly masterclasses where we bring mentors in. And what's beautiful is that we get to collaborate and partner with incredible individuals around the world in ensuring that you know if we're aligned with the mission, we're gonna do it together. And Christy, you and I were just talking the other day about um, an event that you're hosting. I think it's mm -hmm. in a week's time with Naveen Jain, oh, a Q and A. Oh, fantastic. Super. So we'd love for you to share with our audience a little bit more about that and extend the invitation for young people to come and join and tell us a little bit more about who, some people might not know who Naveen Jain is. So give us a little bit of backstory with your connection with Naveen and what, what you've got on offer there. Absolutely. Naveen Jain is an incredible human being. And if you, if people don't know um, who he is, I highly recommend looking him up. He has, you know, he wrote the book Moonshots because he has this, you know, there is no limit. You know, a lot of times people say the sky is the limit. For Naveen, that means that you put a limit there. And so for, for him, it comes down to if people don't think you're crazy or your idea is crazy, then you're not thinking big enough, you know? And so it's one of those things that he came to the United States um, with $5 in his pocket at the age of 22. And uh, I actually just got done doing an in another interview with him. This will be the third time that I got to interview him uh, for a, a magazine article. And I've learned every time I learned so much, but he actually grew up where his dad worked for the government and in India, but his dad was an honest worker and had integrity. So they would never fire him, but they would always send him and his family to the most remote places. And, um, and so with very little resources, very little education uh, opportunities, but he then came to the US, uh, he did university, um, he worked for Microsoft, and then he came home one day and said, I think I want to start my own company. And his wife was just like, uh, what? And so she had two young, young toddlers and one on the way. And she was like, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where it all started. And so Naveen is now, he's, con he's considered a billionaire. Um, he's on that fence on the fence there and but he is just the most humble man in the whole world and um and so next week i i like to do a mentor call with different students or with teens and allow them to ask questions and so i've had um the first female nfl coach dr jen welter on there um maria trusa who was from the dominican republic she was on there and this month we're doing naveen jane and he is going to be on there so that people can kids can come in ask him questions because i often get messages on linkedin from young people saying can you connect me to Navi? And so, <laughs> and so he said, "Well, Christy, if you're getting all, if you're getting messages and people want to talk to me, then let's do a Zoom call." And I said, oh, no. "Okay." So next uh, Saturday, um, it is the uh, Saturday, uh, the twenty fifth, and it is at eleven Eastern time. So that would be four p.m. London time mm -hmm. and I have some students in Jordan so it is 4 p.m 6 p.m in Jordan and unfortunately I, I thought I, I did not calculate the Australian factor very well I was thinking of the eight o'clock in the morning because Naveen's on the Pacific coast but it would be 1 a.m in Australia but I'm sorry and I'll fix that for next time but That's um <laughs> but it's Saturday, Saturday so maybe yeah. they'll have the to they'll it'll be okay so yeah, absolutely be surprised what they what you know pe your people will do just to go and see who they really inspired to, to see so i think mm -hmm. that you know, probably put yeah. the clock on and, and be awake for that time so that's it is this a free for free for all it's, it's free Super. it's it's 100 free uh i think i gave rich the um the link did i did i send you the link rich 
Yeah. Okay. So if anybody wants to, they can connect with Rich or you can connect with me. I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. And I can send you the the Zoom link for that. Or you can post it on the the page on the yeah. on, uh, uh, the group page um, so that um, people can come in and then they'll get receive uh, an email. And then I'm going to ask, and then I'm going to send a follow-up email and asking for a couple questions so that we can organize it. So this way we can get as many, to as many questions as we can in the time that we have him for. So That's yeah, I'm excited about yes. that. Brilliant. Sounds wonderful. Amazing. Oh, it's so Christy, exciting. Thank you so much. I think uh, so many people will want to jump in and, and be a part of that. What an incredible opportunity to connect with Naveen. Uh, isn't that great, Karina? It is. It's wonderful. It is. It's all of these things make such a big difference, you know, because it's like we're in a community now that, you know, even in different parts of the world, a lot of young people are looking up to certain people and looking just to kind of really connect on a different, you know, just to be inspired and to actually have those opportunities to, you know, be on a, a call with someone they're really inspired by. And um, there's just so much value in that. And we'll never know what that really means. Like even with ourselves, even sometimes I'm on calls with somebody in a different part of the world and they're like, wow, you know, this is great to talk to someone in the Western world. And I think just, it's just, you know, it means such a lot. So I think offering that is just brilliant. And we've got so much, to give all of us have such mm -hmm. a lot of you know even just to make someone feel like how much how important they are and, and that you know you're willing to be there and really make everyone feel welcome and and part of the community as well so i love it i think it's so important so i think it's wonderful yeah that's right we'll that's definitely right. put the word out yeah. yes i mean i just think that in this sense, it's one of those things that we as adults and, and if we can inspire, it might be just that one thing that we say to one, per, one, one young person at that moment that automatically either make, like, make something click or just makes them believe in themselves, right? Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and that is the magic right there. It certainly is. Love Absolutely. It. It's great, Christy. Yay. Wow. So thank you so much. Well, thank you. Do you know what? Can you believe it, Karina? We are we're at four minutes past midnight in the UK, oh, and no, we, we have made it. it. <laughs> we have. Do you think we should play some fireworks? Do you think we should get yes. some fireworks oh, out and, uh, yes. some celebration Absolutely. music? Will you yes. celebrate with us? Absolutely. This is a Let's celebrate. Let us celebrate. There oh, we go. <laughs> oh, is the music playing for you? <laughs> We're going to celebrate. It's time to come fireworks and i'm so honored i got to share the moment with you too <laughs> thank you for sharing oh, with us christy oh. thank you so much my goodness that was fun today Amazing has been job, epic. both of you thank you so much wow oh, my you. goodness do you know i think we um, we've just been told that we may even have a surprise guest uh in the hour that follows so um we're gonna watch this space and see if she comes on we're not gonna announce her name just yet but uh if in about 50 minutes time she's still good we will definitely go live because uh, there's something quite significant about this particular guest that links to um, the start of everything. Christy, I know you were the first person that got to hear about uh, the crazy idea that was the Youth Education Brilliant. Summit. Brilliant. Uh, 24 hours of fun, uh, education, entertainment, inspiration. And we're just super grateful to you, Christy, to you, Karina, especially for my tag team partner, and uh, to all of the team, the volunteers, the speakers, the family members. I know I've got a beautiful wife upstairs who's been smashing the social media posts out literally she's for 24 hours as well. She's amazing, Lisa. <laughs> Absolutely. You're, you know, oh. she's incredible. And our co-founders at Anua Heroes, you know, the trustees and the board of directors at Anua Academy and all of our speakers, the incredible people, who've, the kids, they yeah. have been absolutely inspirational. 
Mm. And so, my goodness, I hope I haven't forgotten anybody. Please. We've well, forgotten, forgotten one person you always do forget is yourself. Um, oh. here. We would not be here doing this if it hadn't been for so you. True. Our, so our true. Our courageous line, the one that, you know, is just willing to push through and make things happen. And my God, oh. you've done that. So we wouldn't be here. And and I think just, you know, so proud, so proud of you, Rich, you know, and, and so oh. delighted that, you know, this has all come together. And this dream of yours has been, uh, has become a reality. And everyone's got behind you because we all believe you. And we're so, you know, inspired by you as well. So, yeah. Well, well thank you. It's thank been you. magical, absolutely magical. And, uh, you know, thank you, Christy, for being part of it. Thank you, Karina. We're going to say good night to everybody. And it may just be we come and do a little pop up surprise in about 53 minutes time. Thanks for joining us, Christy. Thank, thank you. you for joining us, everybody, thank on the you, Youth everybody. Education Summit, a world first, but no longer a world first because there will be another one in yeah. about three months time. And we can't wait to see you. <laughs> wait a minute. I thought you said up. next one. <laughs> 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 I'm going to bed. <laughs> oh, bless you guys. Take care. Thanks, Christy. Thank Bye, you. Christy. Lovely to meet you, Christy. Thank, Thank you. you. Lovely.